well, the news is on the way. If you wanted some Lego Marvel news, fear not, because it has just dropped. A lot of massive, massive stuff has been unfolding over the course of the last 24 hours or so. And today we're going to go on ahead and kick things off by talking about the confirmed Marvel Series 2 minifigure wave. And it is going to be a bit of a head scratcher, so prepare yourself because there's going to be some of these that you really are going to be like, wait, what? Because it certainly made me go just like that. First and foremost, guys, don't forget to take a quick moment, smash -ma that thumbs up button. And with that in mind, let's rock and let's a roll. For those that don't know, LEGO Marvel minifigures, of course, have gotten a minifigure wave before. We got one wave that celebrated the release of a bunch of different MCU properties, and it looks like we're going to be getting a second one, or at least that's kind of what it seems like. It really does seem like the minifigure waves will predominantly focus on Disney Plus' side of things instead of the MCU cinematic side of things. So if you're a movie fan, you might be a little disappointed, but if you're a Disney Plus Marvel fan then you're probably going to be quite stoked before i get to the list though one final detail and that is some extra information about the actual drop date so these are slated to drop on september 1st so if you're going to be picking up marvel spider-man 2 in september you got another marvel thing to look forward to and that is some lego minifigs and this is going to be the first marvel wave that is inside of the cardboard boxes so these won't come in the little like bags that we're used to from previous minifigure waves so again, if you want to go on ahead and obviously pick these up, just expect that they're going to be in the boxes, not the bag. So there will be no way to clearly figure out which ones you're going to get by just feeling the box, etc. The moment you've all been waiting for is, of course, the list. So let's kick things off with Hawkeye. Yes, wow. we're getting Clint Barton as Hawkeye, of course, are being released based on the Hawkeye TV show. And to go along with Hawkeye Clint, we have Kate Bishop herself. So worry not, you've got both of the main protagonists of the show now available to you in minifigure form. And if you're a big Moon Knight fan, well, you've got that to look forward to as well, because not only is Moon Knight a part of this particular wave, but so is Mr. Knight, which is obviously pretty freaking awesome. I'm actually really, really stoked about the fact that we're getting these two as part of this wave. In fact, I probably would go with those two as my possible favorites. For the next one, we're gonna need to go a little bit backwards because we're celebrating WandaVision, or I guess maybe it could be Agatha's Harkness's appearance in her own show that is up and coming in the future, but Agatha will be a part of this particular lineup. The next one is a legitimate surprise because Werewolf by Night is actually going to be making an appearance in this upcoming minifigure wave. Especially when you really think about the fact that obviously Werewolf by Night was a bit more of the mature side of things of Marvel. It's really cool that they went ahead and included it in a mass release Lego wave. Because usually, if they're going a bit more mature with the themes and topics, they usually do the direct-to-consumer stuff. So it's really cool to see that a mass release wave will actually include Werewolf by Night. Next, you have Echo, which is a cool character, I guess, in terms of just like a roundup to the overall lineup. But we know so little of this version of Echo because this is, of course, going to be the MCU variant, not the comic book design. So because of that, honestly, I don't know if this is like a particularly exciting addition, but Echo will be there. So if you're a big Echo fan, fear not, you'll be able to go on ahead and add this one to your collection. Next, you have She-Hulk, which... And the next one after that is one that I am legitimately really stoked for, and that is Kang. I was super bummed out that LEGO is not giving a lot of really cool sets from Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania, even though the movie is what it is. But I do think that a lot of the character designs from that are really cool, and I really did want to get a Kang minifig. Well, it looks like we will be getting that Kang minifig actually in this particular set. So if you're a Kang fan, this is going to be obviously a must pick up. And if you've been keeping track, you would know that we've covered nine minifigs so far, which means that, of course, since the minifigure wave will be 12 minifigures deep, there are three remaining. And these are all insanely, insanely exciting, especially for all of you who have been waiting for X-Men characters to make a return. We're going to kick things off 
with the first of these three Let's as go, probably Bob. the least exciting, but the one that obviously makes perfect sense because he's probably the most arguably popular X-Man member, and that is Wolverine. So Wolverine will, of course, be part of this particular wave, and it will be based on the X-Men 97 show. In fact, so will all the other minifigs that we're going to talk about in just one moment. But I'm super stoked about the idea of having what might end up being the ultimate or the most iconic version of Wolverine available in minifigure format. It will be pretty much the X-Men 97 slash Jim Lee design. I really do hope that they include a blue shoulder pad piece for this one to really nail those little details. This next one is super duper exciting because we are getting Storm, one of the most iconic members of the X-Men team and definitely the X-Men 97 show. I'm assuming it's probably going to be the white costume with the really long hair because I feel like that's the most iconic look from that show, at least to me, like when I think of Storm from that show, I feel like that's kind of the look that she's most known for. But who knows? They might go with the shorter hair design. They might go with the different colored costume. Obviously, we'll see when the actual minifig designs themselves are revealed. But this is very exciting. And then last, but certainly not least, to round out the list, you have Beast. So you're getting three X-Men in this wave. Yes, of course, Wolverine is kind of a no-brainer in terms of like, wow, we've already gotten many different Wolverines before. But... I'm still excited about the possibility of a Wolverine that looks probably the best out of the entire bunch because this is going to be his most iconic look, kind of that Jim Lee X-Men style and X-Men 97 style. So that's going to be absolutely amazing. I really do hope that it comes along maybe even with the blue shoulder pad designs because I think that would be sick. But... Beyond that, of course, the fact that we're getting another Storm minifig, which is awesome, one that is going to be actually affordable for people to get now, and Beast, that is going to be fantastic. So with that all being said, ladies and gentlemen, let me know down in the comment section below which of the 12 minifigs are you most looking forward to picking up. And of course, like always, have an absolutely fantastic day. Peace out. See you later. Alligators. Bye, guys.